Hey guys, welcome back to Legendary Habitat LLC. Uh, today I'm up here. It's the uh, 18th of June at our uh, up north property. Been doing a lot of work too this summer. I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot more of it um, coming in throughout the year leading up to this hunting season. Uh, but this weekend, one of the goals I want to try to accomplish up here is get some more bedding along this food plot that runs down along the property line and then it kind of makes a big L and shifts over back over to the other section of the property and this is kind of a transition zone right here a little bit of a pinch point uh, edge uh, that comes out into these other bigger food plots uh, so I got a couple of small hidey hole food plots back further there and then I've got bedding even further back uh, into the hardwoods so right here I basically want to take a lot of these I've got some stream coal willows in here and some uh, American aspen, big tooth aspen. And I'm gonna try to hinge a couple of these. Uh, some are probably gonna break off, which I'm not too concerned about. Um, I'll come back in here on, on some of these trees that I'm gonna leave standing in the winter, and then I'll cut those down and let all the root regeneration uh, and the sprouts come back up. Uh, Cause all that energy is gonna get forced, forced back down to the root system during the winter. So I've actually got the tractor up here this weekend and I'm going to be coming in here into this tall uh, grass and creating several high mounds uh, in here. And then I'm going to come back in and hinge cut some of these trees over those mounds, those hint stream coal willows and stuff, and uh, get some side cover and some overhead cover uh, in hopes of getting, you know, maybe a doe family or a couple individual bucks uh, back here to bed before they move out into these bigger food plots. So that's the whole design and we're going to get to work. See if we can uh, make something happen. So just want to give a little brief update on what I've been working on. So you can see this flat spot right here that I just created. Nice little higher dirt mound. A couple willows right here. I'm going to hinge cut a couple of these. There'll be an exit trail right through there. That'll go back to a main trail that comes around this bush. Over to here. Comes through some of this grass along this basically edge feather right here. Then leads back out over there to the destination food plots. And then right here, take a couple of these stream co willows and drag them down this way. Another little high mound here. You can see this perfect little hole back up in here. I've scraped down, I'm gonna make a bed right here. This has already got some really good overhead cover. I've got a maple I can hinge over right up in here. More side cover right here with probably an exit trail coming out this way. And then another exit trail or entrance trail coming out this way. And if I go through here, there's a really good spot right here. This tree is basically naturally hinged over. Make a nice bed right here. Once I clear out all this, make it really nice and then it leads through here possibly another bed right here cleared out through here nice cherry I'm gonna try to bring down create another bed right here below it and that kind of screens off that's the property line about 10 yards right in ahead of me and that kind of runs on an angle back down this way. 
So basically just using this property edge as, as bedding and then food plot starts all through there about 30 yards. As you can see, I'm using a little bit bigger of a saw than what I normally do. But I, uh, I got my saw back home right now in transition of moving, so making the best with my uncle's saw that's already up here. So as you can see, I've got some really good overhead cover now. This is right about chest height on me. I'm gonna clear all under here, put a log in here. I have the exit trail coming right out the back of here. And this is buck or doe. Well, it's likely probably going to be a buck, um, depending on how this is all going to uh, play out and how thick this is going to get um, this year. will depend on if a buck or a doe is going to be here. It's a little bit close to the food, um, so I'm leaving this as an option basically. So you know, you get several does and be all back up in, in this corner in different in doe families, and uh, individual bucks can be back here as long as I've got plenty of screening to separate them all. Uh, I think that's important when you're when you're thinking about trying to build individual buck beds. You got to have that that separation um, and uh, really have the bucks more individualized than than your uh, your doe groups, which are a lot more social and they want to be close to close to food as close as they can get. Uh, that's secure and, and uh, a lot more you know facing each other. So, anyways, that's that's the whole design behind this. I'm gonna get this cleaned out. We'll move over to a couple other ones, and we're gonna have, you know, probably close to six, seven beds here, in you know, just a couple hours. So, goes to show you, you can do the same stuff on your property uh, in just, you know, one evening, a day with a chainsaw and, you know, a couple hand tools. <laughs> So you can see behind me a couple of these uh, these big two aspen hinged actually a lot better than I expected, uh, which is great. Got a couple of high hinge ones that really stuck up. I was really hoping this one was going to catch on that stream coat willow, and it did just like I wanted it to. Um, it's definitely a little bit trickier with a bigger saw because a lot of times when you're used to cutting with a smaller saw. You get these bigger saws and you end up cutting too far through. Um, but these actually hinge really nice. So just something to keep in mind. So I'm probably gonna take a couple more of these out and then that'll be about it. And then I'll wait until late winter or sometime in the winter and come back through here and uh, some I'll flush cut uh, because it doesn't help it when it's cold trying to get these to hinge. 
uh, I'd say if you're going to get any uh, type of hinge to stay intact, it's probably going to be when it's hot out. Um, with this Pacific tree, most trees in the winter, you're going to probably be able to get the hinge really nice. Um, so I'll take a walk through kind of once I got some of these beds prepped out and show you what the final product is. All right, so you can see. All right, so this is one of the beds I created right here. You can see it's a little high mound with dirt. It's got an entry and an exit that leads through here, which leads to a second bed in here. Right there. Overhead cover leads out to another trail. This will probably be a clover and chicory trail right here. And then uh, this cherry tree was dropped. I've got to clean this up. And this actually is part of the trail that leads back down this way. Here's another bed right here. Entry trail that leads over to that other bed. And then I've got several other of these in here. Totally secluded, lots of screening, lots of shade. Another nice spot in here. Overhead cover. Leads back down through here. And I'm going to be cutting trails that all lead right back down along this edge right here, back out to the food plots right over there in that area. And then I've got more edge feathering that I did two years ago all up through here. And there's a big food plot that's all up through here. Well, thanks a lot, guys, for watching this. I hope you guys learned something or uh, maybe made you think of some different creative ways to uh, improve your whitetail habitat and your property. Uh, I'm going to be giving some updates on this uh, throughout the summer into the fall. I'm going to try to get a couple cameras back here and one over at another bedding area I created on the uh, south end of the property. And we're going to see uh, how the deer like it. That's the ultimate test. You know, if I come on here and I'm not really seeing much, then I'm going to try to figure out what I need to do to change it. Um, but I'm pretty confident based on my previous experience on, on building different uh, bedding areas in different uh, locations. Uh, I'm pretty confident I can get some, some does and some bucks to bed here. So we'll see. Good luck and good habitat.